Hey, this is Dan. i um, going to take you into the Karma Music Project file. Um, tell you a little bit about um, my process <clears throat> as far as, you know, some of the things that I use, um, some of the plugins I use and techniques, and um, pick a few things apart and um, just show you around a little bit. Um, for this album, I did use Sonar 8 Producer, um, so I have since upgraded my gear, but right now I'm, I'm in my old computer um, in the Sonar 8 project file and this is just the music this isn't um, there's no vocals going on right here um, because <clears throat> to save memory and that kind of thing um, w what I had to do because there's so many layers what I had to do is uh, eventually just uh, have a music project file and you know do all the drums and guitar bass samples and keys and that and then um, mix that down and bring it into a vocal project file but um here's here's the chorus um i'm just going to play the last chorus here um and you can see kind of everything that's that's going on minus vocals of course um now this kind of solo things and and let you hear what they are and kind of explain them that's just that's just a plain old drum track. And then I had um even though the song is in the song is in drop D, but um I tuned the top string down just to C, um, just to have an open kind of thing going along with everything to give it a little more muscle. Um, so live I have to use my seventh string. Um, to get that low tone in, but that's all the rhythms are doing there. Is um, just that it's kind of following the drums. Um, and of course, the bass is just doing what the bass does, you know, just kind of that Tears for Fears ish, you know, 6 8 type of line. Um, then I got Tons of guitars doing crazy things. Uh, I think I have. Yeah, I have a couple cuts on that. Um, and then, let's see. And I think I have the same thing, but an octave higher. Oh, it's doing a few different notes. And then some more guitars down here. This, these three are doing, basically, it's kind of like mirroring the vocal harmonies. Um, Now we get into the keys. Um, at the the end of the last chorus in the song, you hear everything kind of build up, and you you hear this huge layer um, fading in under the normal chorus. And that was actually Ryan's idea to have you know just this crazy stuff fade in. So when the when the song stops, you know you have all this all these layers that just kind of crept up, and there they are. Um, this right here. Yeah, this is all, this is, I just searched for various, um, you know, like news footage and, and that kind of thing. Um, panned them, put delay on them, um, just trying to make them sound chaotic, you know, just kind of like symbolic of voices in the head. And I faded it in, so it's, you know, kind of, like if you listen really close, you can hear it fade in. It gets pretty crazy. And then, uh, let's see here. What have we got here? Ah. Yeah, we did. There's so much stuff going on in this chorus. I mean, 
a lot of it's stuff like you wouldn't ne necessarily, I don't know, you might be able to tell if it was gone, but we just, the, the, the motive here was, you know, the more the better. But you can hear that kind of stuff. You know, that all makes a difference. And then this, let's see. Drop out. Yeah, I don't even know what this is. I mean, we did so much crazy stuff. Sounds like a... Um, I don't even know what that is. I don't remember. <laughs> it says keys, samples, organ. So it might have been, you know, a lot of times we put the keyboard through a distortion unit and I probably, you know, put it backwards and manipulated it and did weird shit to it. Um, yeah, this is a, a low rumble. You can kind of hear um, fading in. I'll drop out again. And that I have some EQ on. I got a boost uh, at around three. Wait, eighty-five hertz, and then I got a little bit of high cut. Um, and I got G clip on it, so uh, when it maxes out, you know, I don't know if I. Most people are familiar with G clip, but it kind of like um, it's free, and um, it it kind of uh, smooths out your clipping, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this is one of the keyboard patches, and um, you, Ryan using his um, his mod wheel. We ran it through a distortion unit, and I'm sure I put some weird effects on it or something. You can hear that fading in pretty well. When you listen to all the, when you listen to the song as a whole, um, you can hear that fading in pretty well. Uh, let's see. This stuff, obviously, it's something backwards. Um, I honestly don't know. Um, probably one of the keyboard tracks manipulated and turned backwards. I mean, during this process, there was just so much experimentation. That was part of the name, you know, like the Omega experiment. Like, you know, oh, I know what that is. That's the beginning of Terminus, um, just manipulated like crazy. Uh, let's see. Here's some just ambient stuff coming in for that for that end part. Um, let's see here. Ah, yeah, the pizzicato. I'm sure you can hear that pretty pretty prominent in the. Let's see. Yep, and of course the uh, organ. And I think the chords Ryan is playing there is just um, kind of mirroring the vocal melodies. And of course the synth bass. You gotta have that synth bass. We are not ashamed to bring our Michael Jackson influences in. That part really helped drive the chorus. And then down here we got... <clears throat> all these tracks down here are the beat behind the beat. Um, I built it all out off of, uh, I think, Ableton and um, Reason uh, samples. There's a, I think that's a, a Reason bass drum. There's another one to kind of give it some muscle, and I put a doubler on one of them. Let's see. And then I think the next one is a snare. 
Yeah, really, really cheesy, almost like Nine Inch Nails type of snare. But with everything, it really, really gives it the kind of pop muscle that it needs. And those are just kind of like electronic blips. Again, the Michael Jackson influence coming in totally. And then these are just things, this is only in the left. Uh, yeah, and a hi hat over in the right. So when you listen to this beat as a whole, and then you put it with the regular drums, it really gives you that that pop feel. And you add some of the bass under it. There you go. You know, if you were to take the electronic like the electric guitar and the electric bass and everything off of it, it would just it would be a pop song. You know. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.